Today's Albion Online video is all about our 7.1 maps run in a red zone while faction flagged with a speed clearing set. Is it worth it? Is it going to make us silver? Is it going to give us a good fame per hour? Is it going to give us good faction points? And so here is the data we have on screen right now. My starting combat fame credits you can see right here at the top. I will be running this with auto respec on without a satchel because in red zones, black zones, people tend to not use satchels. I'm using a speed clearing set using Assassin Hood, Spectre Jacket, Royal Sandals, Cabbage Soup, Crypt Candle, Thetford Cape, and the Light Crossbow. These are 7.1 maps. The risk I am running is 400,000 in equipment and 200,000 in maps, though I'm not carrying all the maps with me at once. And I believe that tooltip value is wrong. I think this is actually 500k in loot, but whatever. We're not going to worry about that. Here's the setup. Here's the getup. All right, so I am over here in Long Shadow Plain, which is next to Kindle Grass Step, a tier 6 red zone. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three of these maps in our safety chest, and every time we do a dungeon, we're going to run back to this yellow zone chest and make a little deposit. So, in order to do this, there are many risk factors involved. Since I am faction flagged, that means that people of the enemy faction can see me, possibly enter a dungeon, and then gank me with their pals. Most of the time, these entrances to red zones are camped by a scout, which I will immediately ping and alert them that I am a juicy high-value target. It looks like there is, no, uh, there is no scout here right now, so let's pop this map, and there we go. It's sending us to Kindle Grass Step, and it's telling me that we are entering a full loot red zone PvP enabled. And here we go. There is one ganker on the map. Now, I am not a PvP build in this getup at all. If I was going to PvP, I should probably have Reflect on my armor, and uh, I don't really think Cleanse would really do me much good. So the dungeon is right over here, and uh, it's now there's no gankers on the map, so we're safe. Except we're not safe, because there could be faction-flagged enemies. Care Leon loves to roam in small packs and just pick on everybody. That's what they do. Care Leon currently controls the zones as they tend to do in the red zones when it's not a faction fight. And there is a bunch of Bridgewatch bros riding through. Uh, looks like they might be capturing Outpost 1 here pretty soon. Now, this guy is following me because I am a YouTuber, and I do not want him or anyone to see me enter this dungeon on the left. So, I'm, uh, I've got to wait for these people to stop following me. So I'm just going to ride around, and uh, again, this is part of being a YouTuber, is people will follow you. Now, uh, if they do attack Outpost 1, I should tag the boss on it so that I can help get credit, but it's only a two-star zone. I'm going to ignore it. And we have to hope that uh, there's no one already in my dungeon here. And also, I forgot to mention at the start of the video, but I will be not waiting for the dungeon to close. Most of the time, people, what they will do is they will hit log out and they will wait 90 seconds. This means the dungeon closes behind you, but I will not be doing that. And there are hacks that will, you know, tell people you know, what I am doing, and if there's people even in the dungeon, there's also hacks that can tell you if the dungeon is profitable or not. So I'm going to be switching uh, back to my speed clearing, you know, armor ability here. But uh, this should be a pretty quick little thing. I have maximum specs, so everything is going to combat fame credits. And uh, we're going to try to get one hour's worth of data. So that's about four maps. And I'm, aware, I'm a little out of practice. I haven't really used light crossbow in quite a while. I am, you know, 100 spec in the entire tree. Once I get my boots back up, we are going to uh, activate this armor and, uh, yeah, just kill the mobs and get some loot. And according to, you know, my studies and my spreadsheeting, the, the loot isn't worth doing solo dungeons anymore. Solo dungeons were just massively, massively nerfed by the devs. And, uh, but we're going to, I'm going to prove that today. We're going to be full hour of content. Unless I die, if I die, I'm just going to estimate, you know, the earnings you know, before dying, of course. And we'll see if it's even worth art troubling yourself with. All right, there we go. We're going to get our cooldowns back here just a little bit. Not exactly all the way at once. Uh, Spectre Hood would be better, but it was a little out of my price range. And you could be like, well, Soul Benji, you're rich. You, you don't have a price range, bro. And yes, I, I wanted to go in a set that was under half a million. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> if you get a good few jackpots in these dungeons then it'll be totally worth. Alright, so we got our armor spell back. We can start torching the enemies again. 
And you can see while I have this armor active, and there we go, the daily is now done. Go ahead and claim that. There we are. All right, so what was I saying? I was saying uh, something about efficiency, I'm sure. I don't know. I've been up for f far too long. My brain is absolutely scattered. There we go. This guy's going to cast his Wall of Stone spell, so I'm going to face him this way. There we go. That way I can progress just a little bit faster. One and two, and try to get my double shots on the Q here, so bang, bang. Now, see, these two guys guarding the dungeon entrance, exit, whatever, I don't need to fight. I don't even need to kill them. Because my primary objective isn't so much the fame or the faction points. That's just a bonus. My objective is the loot. The loot that I will be getting from dungeon bosses. Now, that, that, that first floor sucked because there was no boss. And also, remember, gankers could be closing in behind me at any moment. I could be uh, seeing a red player in the corner of my screen just rushing towards me. And most of them run a radar hack, so they know that I'm in the dungeon. They know which floor I'm on. They will be able to track where I'm at outside of render distance. That means I can't see their nameplate. But their little radar program, they can see me. And they know exactly what I'll be wearing. And if they can fight me or not. And because I'm a PvE build at the moment, you know, like, I don't really stand a chance unless they just suck at the game. But most radar hackers are, you know, they're, they're players that have played for a long time and they got screwed over by a guild. Or they got banned for RMT and they're just here to mess up everyone's day and give them a bad time. So, yeah, that's that's just the truth, man. I, I don't make the rules. I don't, you know, do anything of the sort. I just know the people, the, the sort of type of people that do that. And uh, that's their... That's the reasonings. Uh, it looks like we got a little, uh, I don't know what, I forget what these people are called. Heretic. A little heretic side expansion on the dungeon here. So, again, I'm taking a lot of health damage by wearing this armor, but it does dramatically speed up the clear speed. So, there we go. And I should regenerate before the next pull. As you can see, that's why we're using the cabbage soup. Yes, I know beef stew gives you more damage, but if you have to sit there and wait for heals... It's really not as efficient. Now, it would be really nice if we got some big juicy chests. And we won't... Uh, okay, I was going to say, we won't be bothering if they are tome chests. Because tome chests really suck. <laughs> tome chests are not fun to deal with. Now, we're going to torch this boss here. Go ahead and just spam our abilities. And, yes, my health is getting quite low. I'm going to have to turn my armor off or I'm going to die. And yeah, it's getting down to the wire here. There we go. But we got them just in time. And this is 148,000, which is really good. All right, so that's a really good chest, and I'll tell you why. We got this great nature staff. Now, if I get invaded, I could switch to this, and I might have a fighting chance. Um, let's see. The big money was this halberd, 6-1 halberd. And uh, yeah, so pretty decent chest on the side here. Not going to lie. We're, we're, we're up at the moment. I should probably keep tap. No. If we make it back to base camp, if we make it back safely without getting ganked uh, to the yellow zone chest, that's how we're going to determine how much silver we made doing this. Alright, alright, alright. Let's continue forward now. We got a whole hour of dungeons, boyos. One hour red zone dungeons. Are they worth doing? And, uh, you know, the, the, the great and wise late Big Lips McGee said that 7-1 dungeon maps were the most profitable in his you know, testing, but I don't know if he's dead or he just quit YouTube or what's going on. But um, he hasn't uploaded in a long time, and I haven't seen him online on any platforms anywhere. So I don't know. We're, we'll see what happens with that, man. You know, it could be one of those, uh, you know, dead YouTuber situations that have been happening recently in the past couple of years, right? Or I guess it's more so Twitch streamers. It's the Twitch streamers that keep, uh, you know, dying off. The YouTubers live on. I wonder why. But uh, yeah, let's uh, continue the dungeon here, and uh, you know we just gotta be a little, a little uh, you know tug at the heartstrings. That's all. But hey, you know those people that you know bit the dust, they never liked me anyway, so it's whatever. It's uh, <laughs> no one ever wants to talk about it, but I'm, I'll talk about it all day. I'll be like, hey, you know that guy, that that guy didn't like me, and I'll be like, well, you know it's his loss. I didn't, I, I've never even spoken to him before. I wanted to be their friend, but if they don't want me to be their friend, what, what am I supposed to do about it? Hmm, what am I supposed to do? Nothing I can do, really. 
All right, well, this is a, a blue chest. Let's see. The other one was a blue chest also. But this one should also be a blue chest because it's Arthos the boss because you can tell by the layout. It's uh, we got a few more pulls left. And then up ahead, there's what? Um, the Barbarian and then the two ladies. I'm pretty sure that's the pull. Also, I got stunned there. So, yeah. See, it's the Barbarian and the two ladies. I told you. You learn the layouts of these dungeons after a little while. You just learn what's what's coming, okay? Let's recharge them cooldowns. I, I think I maybe would have been better off with a Mage Cow for more D, like DPS and stuff, but whatever. All right. There we go. Just going to weave autos into double Qs. And let's activate the armor. Why not? You know, we're doing pretty good right now. Now, the armor's, uh, I don't, I don't think I'm really getting a lot of value out of the armor here for the boss fights, but for the trash pulls, and that's where the majority of your time is spent in dungeons, is, is the trash pulls, not so much the boss fights. You know, getting pretty good value. Also, I just, I, I think that I could clear this dungeon slightly faster if I went with Stalker Jacket, or actually Dru Druid Robe and Bolt Casters. I think that would have been the winning play. Uh, and that actually landed. What the hell? Why did that land? I was outside of the circle. And another close call from another boss fight. Got a tome. All right, so this is 85,000. That's the jackpot is the satchel of insight. I could probably pop that bad boy on. It's actually better than what I'm wearing. But that would skew our fame per hour results. So that is map number one, and that took about 10 minutes. That was a 10-minute run, so we can probably do about three, four more maps depending on how many floors we get. We also have to factor in the time it takes for me to run back. Get the new map and run and return. There are five gankers on the map. So right now I am worth seven, yeah, 748,000 silver. I just want you to know that. And I, oh, man, I gotta, oh, there's a spiky boss and a circle boss. Oh boy. The servers just rebooted up, by the way. Servers have been not even live for a full hour. I would totally want to kill that boss, but... There's five gankers on the map, and I am... They know I'm a juicy target. Their programs will... What their programs do is they will scan this page. See that I have nearly 100 million crafting fame. Also, I need to update this. I'm at 130k now. There we go. All right. And, uh, yeah, if I see red names, I'm basically just dead. I am just 100%, you know, chicken scratch, feed, cattle, whatever. Mincemeat. <laughs> I recently watched a parasite anime that came... Oh! What's going on above me? That's a blue name. It's a little... Dude, that guy's juicy. Dude, that's free loot. If I was a ganker, I would attack that guy. Anyone with a crypt candle, which, by the way, I'm wearing, is a free kill. I, I just want you to realize that. If you're wearing a crypt candle, <laughs> you, take, you take extra damage. And then if I have, like, the royal sandals running, that also lowers your defense. So I'm just... I just melt instantly. I just die. I just good good night lights out. Yeah, but I I, uh, I finally finished. It, it, it's an anime that came out in 2014. And it's called like Parasite with a Y. Like this dude's right hand gets taken over by a parasite, and they have little adventures. I I finally finished it. I didn't really enjoy the ending, but it was decent. Okay, I you know I I'd recommend it to myself to watch. Oh look, there's one of the gankers. Is what is it? The hell is this guy? That guy's scouting. That guy's out here scouting. Okay, he's on a donkey. He's on a, on a tier 6 great axe. In a 1v1, I would fight that dude with my crypt candle and my, my whole gear setup. That guy went in viz. That's weird. Shaco on smite. Dude. <laughs> oh, man. Shaco was my second League of Legends main character. My first was Garen back in the day. I would put on six Sunfire capes, and yes, they stacked back in the day, and I would just run at people and then they would melt all right so we got some uh we got some money in the bank there we go and uh, we're gonna take out another map of course of course all right and yes journey back has been disabled so that sucks that's uh that means i have to run through like three yellow zones to get home which is gonna add to the time of one hour by the way i just want you to know that but yeah look at this we're at like 15 minutes so it's about 15 minutes per map that's why that's why i calculated this as that's why I only brought four maps with me. And I also calculated having to run from fans like we did earlier. And there we go. Pop the map. It's over near the damn outpost again. Uh, all right. 
Looks like we got a couple blue. Like, the blues will not save you. I just, I just want you to realize, sometimes the blues will act like they're going to save you, but they're just with the reds. They're just with the reds. I've done it. I've followed reds around and and been like, a, like an undercover guy, you know? Acting like, you know, giving people false hope that they're going to, you know, fight a bunch of reds, and then I'm just dismounted and I'm standing there not helping, and then... They die, and then I get the I get the scraps. Usually, it's like tier three and four ingredients, or or some doofus that watched a video that's like you can flip tier two, you know, items on the black market and make a bunch of money. Yeah, you can make some money. It's not relevant to the amount of time that you're putting into it, and it's definitely not worth the risk. But yeah, I'd really like to kill that spiky boss that I encountered earlier. That would have been nice. That'd be a nice little fame boost. There's four gankers on the map. So what happened to Ganker number five? He must be, uh, he must be deboing. That's what he's doing. He's depositing his loot that they just got, probably. And uh, yeah, that's that's what happens. Okay, here's the dungeon. There's no one on my screen, but people can still hear you enter a dungeon, and there of course could be someone in the dungeon too. But uh, we're just going to immediately start clearing, and hopefully no one's checking dungeons, and no one's scouting me, really. You, know, you never know. You, you, you got to be very diligent. Vigilant. That's the word I wanted. All right, so uh, 1,250 faction points at 16 minutes. Mark it on your calendars. That's, uh, you know, times four. That's our hourly... hourly bleh, I can't speak. Hourly rate. I didn't, like, get anything to drink before recording. All right, we got a red buff. We can start clearing this mega fast. And if someone invades me and I have red buff, they're just dead. They will absolutely melt. Not to my aura. Uh, also grab that tome. There we go. Yes, yes. Oh, boy. Hmm. All right. We did it. Now, there's another shrine buff. And normally when you're speedrunning dungeons, you don't override your red buff. But here's why I have to do it. If there, if someone invades, and oh, we got another red buff, so it actually worked out. If someone invades and takes a shrine buff, you're dead. So you must take it to deny a possible invader the buff. That is what you must do. All right, we just uh, shoot the little rats, the little meepers. Meep, meep, I want the cheese, I want the cheese. That's what the rats want. Even the ghost rats, they want the ghost cheese, okay? Now, we're, we're losing a lot of health here because I'm in, stuck in combat and my cabbage soup isn't able to give me the nutrients I deserve. <laughs> Let's turn that cape off. We're, we're really melting through our health bar. Alright, there we go. Kablamzo. I'm used to 8.4 and just killing these in one shot. Which, uh, you know, the fame isn't that high because it's a solo dungeon. They never, they never tweak the solo dungeon rewards. Robin Hankies hate solo dungeons. They are... Like, they're good, I think they're good content, and they were my favorite content back in the, you know, 2019-2020 era. Man, that was four years ago, can you believe it? Been playing this damn game four years. Yikes, I really should just start a new freaking game, man. This game is so overplayed. But, uh, yeah, Robin Hickey's hates solo dungeons. He's like, well, we made them safer because people complained, and then we tuned the rewards because of the safety. Bro, yeah, and then no one does them because they're not worth the doing. They're not worth the fame, like... Whenever they introduced the open world mob fame farming crap, you know, like mobs could upgrade and stuff. Fucking like the, the the fame was six times higher than a dungeon, so no one does dungeons anymore. Also, I've got a lot of stuff selling right now, man. Like, let's just click a few random sales here. I don't want to like ruin my dungeon clear speed, but I, you know, I I need to click buttons. Okay, we sold a great frost staff. Cool. There we go, right? Just random little flips, bro. It's nothing... I am perma-slowed. What's going on there? All right, we got blue buff. That means we can spam our abilities super-duper quickly and just murder every single mob ever, 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 forever. Yes, I am... I mean, think of what the skeleton is seeing right now. You're a frost mage, so you're a chili boy. You got them cold bones. You're just chilling, literally. And then this guy that's on fire just is just walking towards you like, bro, just chill. And you're like, nah, I'm, I'm good, fam. I don't know how skeletons, like, communicate. I guess it's tele tele telepathy? Be what are they, they rattle their jawbone and it makes sounds. Like, <laughs> no one's ever explained how skeletons can communicate. All right, burn and righteous fire. 
Oh man, Righteous Fire builds in Path of Exile. Now that was some good times. Green chest, 8,000. Mm -mm, that ain't paying for the map. No sir. No siree, and I wasted my boots. Because I normally pair the boots with the armor so that I have more damage from the armor for the entire duration of 20 seconds. It's one of the longest armor durations. Now again, I gotta watch... I gotta watch this number at the bottom right screen make sure it doesn't rise. I also have to watch for red names because that number doesn't go up if it's a faction flagged player like a Carleone dude that's just like, ooh, a dungeon. Ooh, my radar hack detected a dungeon. Ooh, there's so soul binges in the dungeon. And it's a mapped dungeon. My radar hack. Buh, 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 right? Like, that's that's all this game is now. It's just cheaters, man. It's that's like every every fun and good game ever just gets ruined by cheaters. I don't play Rust because of the cheaters. I don't play Escape from Tarkov because of the cheaters. I honestly stopped playing Minecraft because, well, the, not only the cheaters, but like... I, all the paid cheats, okay? Used to, like back in the day, Minecraft cheats were basically free. Everyone could use them. So you, you had to just even the playing field, right? But now it's all like, oh, people paying for private mods and stuff. Grand Theft Auto V, everybody cheats, even on roleplay servers. <laughs> right? I, I just want a freaking, like... Even Helldivers 2, a freaking co-op game, which I have not covered on this channel yet. Every, like, dude, there's people, like, infinitely... Like, I joined a lobby, and I look at the, the the name of the player, and it's all in Chinese letters, and I'm like, well, I can't read that. But uh, I, I look at the name, right? And then I, as soon as my character touches down on the planet, it, like, there's, like, 20 orbital lasers frying everything around them. I'm like, yeah, hmm. Nice no cooldowns. He's just sitting there spamming orbital laser, melting everything. Of course, when he sees that I joined, he freaking stops, because I guess he's afraid of, like, me snitching on him or something. <laughs> and so, then I have to play the mission normally. I'm like, bro, just, like, spam your orbital laser. I know you can do it. And then when they loot the rare supplies, they get 999 of them. 26,000. So not that good. Let's see if we make it back, though. This, this map was uh, more than 50k, and I only made 50k. So yeah, we had one good map with two jackpots, and one bad map with no jackpots. Alright, we got one ganker on the map, on the field, ready to play some ball. And that map didn't take as long. We were done in, what, 22... No, it's about the, about the same. 11 minutes a map. It's about how long we've been doing. Now, two gankers, it just went up. Uh-oh, gotta look at that number. Also, my eyeballs are down here in the bottom right, because that's where I'm traveling. So, the thing with gankers is they like to sit on certain, like, key points on the map. And as soon as they see your name, they're hitting their invis button. And if you don't, if you don't notice in that like half a second that they went invis, you're dead. Okay, you just die. Right, and I'm still worth like 400k here, even though I had a crappy dungeon map. Still worth like 400,000, man. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back now. We're going back. And uh, oh, there's one. Okay, so that's a that is a weirdly. So he saw me. That guy clearly saw me. Now he's out here with uh, probably bear paws, if I had to guess. But he didn't. He didn't dismount. He he didn't start following me. So he's probably in Discord with someone else, waiting for a transport. He saw me. He's like, I don't want to fight that. But we'll, look look at this dude. That dude. That dude looks. That's a juicy boy. That's a juicy boy right there on that on that lizard. Why don't they go gank him? That's where I'd be ganking. All right, let's look at some more auctions. What are we? What are we selling, Brazilian? Uh, Master Soldier armor, okay, and uh, Great Frost. Tech. Hey, I clicked that one twice. That or I had multiples. Hmm, it's a Master Mercenary hood. Okay, little well, tier six, just random tier six junk, huh? Whatever I could buy cheap and flip. Members only secret. Okay, let's get this deposited. Oh boy, now so we've basically made. Not, not quite. See, look, my estimated market value of my equipment is back to 500k, right? And we made 400k, so <laughs> technically each map is, is 54k, right? Look at this guy. This guy's being weird around me. I mean, he's like... <laughs> he's a little, uh, what is that? Wildfire Staff. You know, I leveled that weapon up a lot, and I've only ever played it once. And when I did play it, I played it on another character that didn't have anything leveled. Because I wanted the practice of being a new player. Hmm. What a... 
A good time investment there. All right, we pop map number three. We're on map number three, guys. Map number three. Are are you are you hearing this right now? Map number three is right up there. There are zero gankers on the field. They have moved on. They claim their kill. They found a juicy target elsewhere. We are good to go. Good to move about. Now, I highly suspected that someone would raid our hack me in a dungeon, and because I'm not waiting for it to close, they would come in and ruin my day, making for an entertaining video where I throw away silver to people with cheats. But uh, today is not the case. We are gaining not-so-valuable data. Data that I know already sucks. Data that I know is inferior to the blue and yellow zones. And there's so many of these damn chickens and daggers. Oh, my. You know, if I make a game and there is prey animals like terror birds and there are predator animals like tiger... Ooh, that's a 5-3. I don't have gathering tools. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is... I would make the animals eat each other. I mean, even World of Warcraft in 2004 did this. The wolves would eat bunnies in World of Warcraft 2004. I'm not even joking. Alright, this is Heretic Dungeon. Not the best. Heretic Dungeons kind of suck. The mobs are extra annoying and cheesy. See, look at this shield, dude. I have to, like, break his shield before I can kill him. It's so lame. And he's just, like... That's, like, three or four hits on that shield. That's, like, a... He's basically a 2,000 HP mob when you really think about it. Like, when you get real scientific with it. That's just how it is. Alright, I am, uh... Is my... My stew is still active. I gotta turn my armor off because these guys are gonna kill me. Man, look at that. Look at how low HP I am. If someone just came in behind me, I would be... I would be so dead. I would just melt, literally. I mean, I'm already roasty toastying myself. Oh, jeez. Okay, we got two seconds, and we can pop armor again. There we go. Pop armor. Shoot the healer. Kill him. Kill him dead. Gather all these little crappy mobs. There we go. 2,500 faction points. That took 27 minutes. Basically 30 minutes for 2,500. So that is 5,000 faction points per hour. That sucks. That's really bad. I mean, this is a red zone. Everyone's like, oh, red zone, red zone, red zone. Better than yellow zone. No, it's not. No, it freaking isn't. Theoretically, it should be better. It sh Especially on a 7-1. These are 7-1 maps. They should be way better, but they're not. They aren't. They just simply aren't, dude. All right, Big Spencer. Big Spencer. He's big, and his name's Spencer, and he gets bullied for having the name Spencer. Swole Spencer. Hey, that's not bad. Swole Spencer? Big Spencer is literally me, guys, just without the facial hair. I, I actually grew my facial hair out one time in my life, and uh, I kept getting mistaken for being a religion that I'm not, because the area that I'm in is, well, it's very diverse. And I was, and they would come up and start speed. Oh, what is it? Sixty-four thousand. Not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, we got a little upgrade. I'm gonna swap Rooney over to the Mage Cal because I want faster clear speed. So there we go. We picked ourselves up a little gear swap, and it's still the same item power. <laughs> there we go. Now we can breathe fire. The vape juice. <laughs> all right. Well, we got a little, little trinket there. There we go. There we go. Indeed, indeed. Good sir, good sir. Yes. Alright, yes. Some would make the YouTube channel Swole Spencer, but don't be an Albion channel. Just, this game isn't worth diving into. Now, there is a chance that for whatever reason, Stillfront is holding on to a lot of money. Probably not, because of their stock price. And, um, you know, there's a chance... That uh, the game makes a massive recovery with the European server launch. You want to know what pet peeves me uh, as a, as a guide creator, as a as a teacher of the Albion content. People that think that the open beta or the closed beta realm is how the economy is going to reflect in the final like release of the new server. Hell, freaking no, bro. Th the beta server only exists for you to farm your skins, and that's it. It's not there for people to practice their economy game or anything. There's people that are like, I followed your guide and I went, you know, stone mining and on the beta server, stone is completely worthless. And it's like, yeah, it's the beta server. Why the hell would anyone, like, stone is meant for building houses. 
and guild halls and shop stalls, and on the 15th, it's going to be used for all the faction crap. All the stupid faction walls and stuff, and guilds already have, like, their materials, you know, farmed and crap. But, um... You have these these people that, like, doubt the guides. Like, I made the guides for myself. Why would I lie to myself? It's so silly. Oh, boy. There's an item there, but there's an explosion barrel that's guarding it. Okay. It was only a couple hundred silver worth. Real, real lame. And then another thing, this is unrelated to Albie, but I got people in the comments that want me to continue making guides and videos for games that just full-blown died, okay? Like, like Elden Ring, okay? Elden Ring isn't technically dead. It's got like 50,000 active players on PC, and I'm, I'm sure it's got plenty more on console. But that game's been out for like how many years? Two or three by now, I think. It's like two or three years. I don't actively play it anymore, and I don't know anyone that does. And the people that do, like... Like, if, maybe, is it, is it someone's parents that bought them this game, like, three years later? Like, okay, son, I can finally afford <laughs> Elden Ring. Or maybe they didn't have a good enough PC before or something. I, I don't know what the deal is, but, like, I'm not going to make content for old-ass games with no player base. Same goes for, like, Paleo, all right? That game, like, is basically dead. And, and the problem with that game is that the devs will never increase the storage space for the player. So, like, I'm gold capped, I'm storage space capped with everything. There's. I literally cannot play the game because I can't farm anything in a freaking Farmville game. Right? That's the dumbest thing ever is to have a storage space cap. And I understand, you know, like, items have data on servers and crap. I didn't even look at the silver price on that because it was not high enough. It was just runes. Kill the rat. There we go. Kablamzo. Imagine being a rat and getting a rocket launcher just exploding on you. I mean, if I was a rat, I'd probably want to go in a gory explosion anyway. Hell, even as a human, I just... It would be cool to be exploded. How do you guys want to die in real life? Like, th my top two choices for dying are explosion and being crushed by a giant, like, rock or, like, building rubble. Alright, so as a lucid dreamer, I can simulate all these things. And I'm going to tell you right now, it, it may look very gory and horrifying to be crushed to death by a giant rock... I mean, I don't mean one that, like, strangles me or, like, slowly crushes me. I mean one that completely flattens me and then, like, I'm just a pancake underneath, okay? You know, and, and that's being slowly lifted down on me. But, like, falling from a high, high up, and like, like in Final Destination where, like, the dude gets out of the dentist's office and he gets, like, smushed by a pane glass. Like, like a, like a thick thing of, like, plastic or something. That's how, that's like, that's a, that's a good way to go right there. And you're like, well, what the hell are you talking about, dude? Listen, I gotta make a, if I'm making an hour long video where I have to talk the whole time, we're gonna talk about stupid crap. So get used to it if you're new to the channel. All right. What am I supposed to talk about the whole time? That, what the enemy mobs are doing? Okay, guys. So the heretic brawler here, when I aggro him, he's going to do one auto attack and then he's going to try to put me to sleep. So here's the auto attack. He hits me with his left or right hand and now he's going to try to put me to sleep. So I'm going to walk out of the circle and now he's going to do the big double clap. But I'm going to walk out of that too. You know, in real time, uh, my character is very agile. So that's how I'm able to dodge this guy's big slap. Now, if I just stood in this guy, the Heretic Bouncer, now if you stand in his attack, he will stun you. And you don't want to be stunned by him because it's a very long stun. So here, coming up is the Heretic Shooter, and what you will have to do is you have to dodge their attacks. But, you see, my gear's so good, I could just stand here and tank it. Like, I don't really have to worry about dodging. Is that is that the commentary you want? I don't think so. Let's talk about cool ways to die, right? So, again, being exploded, it's just instant. You're just like, it's like you're you're there and then you're gone. So, why wouldn't you want that? Also, my food buff ran out, so not not good, not good. All right, and then we're going to weave behind him, shoot this guy in the butt, avoid the, the... Hey, speaking of rubble crushing us, look at that. That's the boss's attacks. It's almost like I predicted it. Isn't that cool? A little bit of foreshadowing in our conversation. You see, I am talking about the game... The whole time, right? Except these rocks wouldn't be big enough. These, this would just hit you on the head and make you dumb for the rest of your life. It wouldn't really kill you. All right, so this was another crappy dungeon. 100, well, 173k, so maybe it wasn't that bad. You gotta realize we're subtract like 60,000 almost, and so it's really not that good. Really not that good. 
How many gankers we got? We got one ganker on the field. Bring him on. He's probably an 8-4 double-bladed staff, and we're just going to melt immediately. Okay. Um, yeah, everyone's like, oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. It's like, well, it's, you know, dying. Okay, like I said, I'm a lucid dreamer, so I can simulate what it's like to die. And uh, yes, I know it's accurate because I remember being a virgin and I simulated what it was like to not be a virgin. And then when I finally, you know, later on in life, much later, uh, <laughs> not because I couldn't, but because I was scared to. OK, there was plenty of women in my time that wanted it. And I was like, I don't I don't want it. I just want to play video games. Leave me alone. And uh, anyway, so I simulated it in the dreams. And then when it happened in real life, I was like, hey, that feels the exact same. How did my dream know this? How did my subconscious know what it felt like? I don't know. Maybe I just took a good guess and, it got, and I was right. So I, with confidence, can tell you what it feels like to die. And it's not so bad. It's like, okay, you, you know when you stay up really, really late and you're super tired and you're like, you know that you're so tired that the second you lay down, you're going to be asleep in like five minutes or less. That as soon as your head hits that pillow and you tuck yourself in, you get under the blankets, that you're just out. You're just out, and then you blink, and then it's like seven hours later, I guess. That's what dying is like. You get real tired. Last map, by the way, boyos. Last map. You get real tired. And then you sleep. And uh, it, it, being dead is like, okay, so it's, it's a little hard to explain if you don't have a good imagination. So here's what it's like to be dead. All right. Besides all the afterlife stuff and blah, 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 you know, uh, but b being dead is like, do you remember what it was like before you were born? You know, you know before you were even zero years old, as soon, you know, when you were a baby, I don't know how many, oh, I didn't pop the map. So I got to pop the map out here in the, in the yellow zone, or it might spread to these other red zones and we don't want that. So we got to go to the yellow zone here. Oh, we got a ganker. What's this ganker? Oh, I didn't inspect him. Crap. I didn't inspect him. I don't know what he's got on, but let's pop the map. There we go. Back over near the damn outpost again. So this guy ran away from the ganker, and he's more geared than me. He's also a gatherer. He's got a gathering chess piece, but he's got, like, combat. I don't know. He's got a weird build. A little weird build, bro. Anyway, that was the only flagged up dude. He might have been faction flag, not PvP flag. I didn't see. Anyway, so... Being dead is also, when people click on me, they see this freaking buff, by the way. I just want to point this out. If someone click, if you click on someone and you see this little running man freaking icon, you know, the, the Wanderlust buff icon, they're going to a dungeon. You should follow them and steal it if you can. So, yeah, just a little tip for dungeon steal stealers out there. But, yeah, like, okay, so being dead, it's like before you were born. It was basically nothing. There was no pain, no excitement, nothing to look forward to, no regrets, no sadness, no happiness, no joy, no feel, no taste, no being tired or energetic or anything. It was just nothing. Nothing at all. So when you die, that's it. That's the same feel, right? Of course, you know, there's the whole afterlife stuff going on. So depending on what afterlife you play in, you know, it's a little different, right? For me, I I'm going to tell you my afterlife plans, okay? So, I'm not I'm not going to the heaven or the hell, all right? I'm not going to the Valhalla or the whatever the heck. I'm going my own way. I'm a ghost going my own way. Real talk. I, uh, you know, once I die and there's, like, some angels and there's a light at the end of the tunnel and my dead, like, family members are like, Come on, welcome. You know, come through the light. Come to the light. So I'm going to be like, nah, see ya. And I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go float my cosmic body. Let's eat food real quick. I'm gonna float my cosmic body just into the ether. And then, I'll, I don't know, maybe start my own planet. I'll, I'll, I'll start my, or I'll, I'll seek out other people that also escaped, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel and did their own thing. And maybe they have really cool worlds that I can, you know, play in. Like a, like a medieval world with magic spells. And I could be like, hey bro. Let me be an isekai in your world with over with an overpowered cheat skill and I'll beat up all the criminals and fix the bad governments and they'll be like, yeah, 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 get in there and clean that shit up. So I'll be like, uh, you know how I'm a famous character in Albion Online, right? I'll, I'll be that, but like in a medieval world. But instead of everyone hating me and vilifying me for like speaking the truth, it'll be like opposite. 
where everyone will be like, oh man, this guy is so brave for standing up to Robin Hinkies <laughs> or something, okay? I don't know, I've completely lost it. Look at these explodey barrels, man. They're just like chilling. Why would you stack these up? And here's the thing, you would think as a fire mage, like, here's what I don't get. Okay, so I killed, what, two fire mages just now. These, these fire mages clearly went to some sort of fire mage school or... Or maybe they're like the player character and they just found one on the ground, like, randomly in a chest. But we, we can assume that they learned how to cast fire magic. We can assume that. And uh, you would think that whoever taught them fire magic was like, Hey, don't cast spells near flammable shit. Okay? Whenever, whenever you shoot a fire spell, make sure that you're not standing next to a red explosive barrel full of gunpowder. Or something. You would think, but hey... Maybe these guys are here because they aren't th big thinkers, you know? <laughs> Who knows? Also, I hate that I can't break the, the lamps. I hate that I can't smash it, even though they're candle-based. Like, I should be able to, like, break the torches and make it dark. And, I don't know. That should be a gameplay element. Fix it, Robin Hinkies, even though they don't care about dungeons anymore. Oh, boy. We've talked about death in the afterlife. Fun topics. Isn't, that, isn't it fun? Are you having fun... You know, lads. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boyos. Alright, so how how is our um how's our dungeon look at all these tomes, I got three already. Look at these rats, man. Why do they try? You think that after these rats died, the other rats would be like, bro, I don't think I don't think this is a good idea. And they would just leave. You know, make, here's the thing, if I made a game, and you're not like a level 1 newbie in, in like rags with a wooden sword, I'm gonna make the rats run from you, because the rats know, they're not completely stupid, right? They should have some very basic animalistic common sense. Unless they're like cultist rats, that believe in some evil deity and they have to fight for their god or something, like... <laughs> Like, just have them run from the player, and then, like, the player can get some bonus XP by, like, chasing them down or something, you know? Alright. And somehow, lightning can explode flammable barrels. I mean, I guess? I have seen static sparks in Chinese, uh, you know, accident videos. Anyone- does anyone here watch those? Like, I go to, like, you know, Chan sites, and they have, like, the GIF board, and they're like, WRECKED THREAD! CHINESE WRECKED THREAD! And it's like, Chinese accidents. Where, um, you know, like, some worker in a factory, like, accidentally put his arm in a machine, and then it sucks him in and spins him around at 80 miles per hour, and he just gets, like, turned into a, like a, like a, a, a pile of meat. Surely I'm not the only one, okay? <laughs> no other YouTuber will, will, t will talk like this, I'll tell you that much. 33k in that chest. Man, oh man, you know, <laughs> so Benji's a brand risk. Yeah, so what? It's more fun to be able to speak your mind than be like, well, I don't want to insult, I don't want to upset the spawn, so in today's video, you know, like, <laughs> like who cares? Oh no, I don't get to shill gamer subs or s mad monk <laughs> vitamins. Oh man. <laughs> oh boy. Fun times indeed, but. Or no, it's more- it, here's the thing though, right? The reason they do it is so that they can all be butt buddies in a Discord sniffing each other's farts. And, uh, so they get those damn premium giveaway codes. Most of them? Dude, like, okay, on my spy accounts, I've investigated. Most of them don't even give away their premium codes. They use it on alt characters, or they give it to, uh, they do fake giveaway where they give it to themselves on their alt accounts. For their farm alts. And it's like... If you already have multiple millions, who cares? Just, like, give it away. By the way, speaking of giveaways, I still have, like, 20 keys to give away on Skull and Bones. I know that game sucks, and that game is basically dead and on life support at this point. Like, the only reason that game came out is because the Singaporean government forced Ubisoft to do it. Also, I just got knocked out. This is gonna hurt. Oh, that's a big slap. Oh, man. That was a big slapper. But yeah, I've got 20 keys to give out, and if you want a key, all you gotta do is join the Discord, pass the questionnaire, get Chad rank, and then... There you go! But I'm just gonna tell you right now, I don't think... Anyone's gotten Chad rank in like two years. So, have fun with that. And the thing is, it's just the Albion audience in general. Like, like you guys are not 
good at identifying memes or anything of current events. You guys are like in your own little like world. It's so weird. It's like y'all y'all don't even exist with the rest of reality. I don't know, man. When I show like a Guild Wars 2 player or a World of Warcraft player, Final Fantasy player, or anyone from any other MMORPG, they immediately pass it with like flying colors, no question asked, in like a few minutes. But you guys will spend all day like looking at the damn question, studying it, and getting it completely freaking wrong. And I just don't understand how that's possible. Alright. Let's see, that's 3, Q, Q, E. Dodge the chop, chop. Auto weaves into Q, into W's. Look at that. We're doing it. This guy has a freaking death axe, right? And kill him across the table. We got blue chest. Let's go. Final chest of the vid. 29k. That's poopies. Well, so far we haven't died. Once I get to the yellow zone, we will look at the numbers. And yes, I'm aware that we've only been playing 45 minutes, so I could technically squeeze in another map. But, uh, we gotta, we gotta count that, you know, the ride home. We can't teleport back. Zero gankers on the board. Also, I didn't have any three-floor dungeons, I don't think. I only had two-floor dungeons, so that kind of did slow it down a bit. Normally, you'd do four maps an hour. I mean, maybe you can do a little bit faster, but whatever. And, um, yeah. So, there we go. Let's get back to the yellow zone. We're gonna see how much fame we earned how much uh, faction points? It's not a lot. It's not really going to be a lot. I'm going to tell you that right now. And uh, the silver from the loot, two jackpots, not bad. But, you know, if we didn't get any jackpots, we wouldn't. I think we'd just be in the red. Maps suck. Maps absolutely suck. Oh, boy. Yeah, one ganker on the field. Uh, one ganker's not so bad. Also, what we got over there? That's 6.0 ore. Yeah, one ganker on the field. Not too bad. Like, one guy, yeah, one guy could dismount me, but then unless he purges boots, I'm pretty much good. I could also, like, I, I have light crossbows. So I have mobility from Caltrops. And I could boop him with Mage Cow, but that puts me in combat, so I can't leave the area. I'd have to fight. The, the problem with fighting is the damn Crypt Candle. It makes me super squishy. All right. Let's get back to town, boyos. Yeah, yeah. I should be able to carry all the weight. Should. If not, I can just come out with, a, um, you know, an ox or whatever and pick it all up. Not that big of a deal. All right. We have one ganker in the yellow zone. whoop de doo Who cares? I'm faction flagged. They can't hurt me, so it's fine. Okay. Let's uh, look at our earnings. Once I get to this chest, we're going to yoink it all up, scoop it all up. I'll put back on the original helmet, you know, just because why not, whatever. It's 5-2 assassin, cowl, helmet, whatever. I forget the name. All right. Picking up all the stuff. There it is. Our grand total for earnings is, let me sort this bad boy. Swap my helmet back. 588,000 in loot. Let's look at the, I'm going to put this stuff on the screen here. And uh, what, do we, what do we do first? The combat fame credits. So ending... It, ending credits, it's 10, 7, 6, no, oh, that's terrible, 0, 2, 7, so earned credits is, that is really bad, let's see, 10, 7, 6, 3, 0, 2, 7, subtracted, make sure my mic is still good, 9, 7, 5, 2, 7, 1, hey, look at that bandit assault, 1 million, so it's like 2 million fame an hour, so there we go, we earned 1 million Damn it. I'm looking for the comma. There we go. So, fame per hour. About two mil. Yikes, dude. Yes, I knew. I know dude is spelled like that, but I'm, I'm going to do it like that. Like in uh, Disgaea. Why not? Anyone know what that game is? With Laharl and Flan and Etna. Okay, faction war warfare points. So, faction ending was 22706. Wow, I'm really bad at commas today. Okay, earned faction would be math time once again. 22,706 subtracted by 17,855. Yeah, it's like around 5,000 per hour. So there you go. That is, uh, that's it. And then as far as this goes, we have 10 minutes left. 
that would be me having to run this stuff back to Bridgewatch. And then this uh, this guy just said, hello, my Gucci YouTuber. Hello, you made it in the video. Your name is Slayer OMR. And uh, he didn't... Oh, dude. Whenever You guys need to fill out your stats page, bro. Like, you've got a whole text box of shit you can put here. Like, look at this guy. Look at Sheely Frank. Did he do it? Let's see. Did this person do it? No! Why? Why are you guys... And this guy says he's trying to do something, he needs info, and it's like, I'm muted, I can't talk to you. I literally cannot talk to you. See, this guy has nothing either on his- Look at all these dudes, they don't have anything on their profiles. Whenever you click on my stats, look, you got a whole text box. Where's your text box, bro? Like, stop being an NPC and fill that stuff out. Jeez, what is going on with people? I'm gonna ride back to town- I'm not ending the video yet. We're gonna ride back to town. And, uh, we're gonna try to find somebody with some damn something in their profile. Alright, what about this guy? N nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. And he's asking me, Tier 4 Static must have Satchel Premium. Of course you don't have to have it, but it's better if you do. Like, if you're playing the game without auto-respec auto on, you failed. You have failed economically. Alright, what about this guy? Nothing! Come on, bro! Like, it's like, <laughs> take a shot every time someone has an empty profile. Uh, this guy's like, oh man, I only watch you, am sad. Listen, dude, I can't, I can't talk to you. This, look, my stats page says I'm muted. If you were an actual fan of me that watched my videos, you would know this, that I cannot reply to you in the game. There was one guy like a couple weeks ago in, in a faction fight, he was like, you're not even going to talk to your fan. I'm unsubscribing. I'm like, fucking his loss, dude. Like, what an idiot. He doesn't know that I'm muted? Come on now. I don't- okay, I don't expect everybody to know that, but it's- it's pretty freaking common sense by now. Everyone knows that I'm infamously muted. He wants to do faction fights. No, dude, I don't- I don't- I'm not doing faction fights. And if I, like, get 8.4, I'll do some faction fights with you. Alright? Uh, <laughs> uh, alright, Pablo5552, nothing. Nothing on that stats page is empty. It's a freaking empty freaking gosh Gosh darn it. This is pissing me off. Where are the people with souls? Where are the people? Oh, okay, here we go by Ruli. Let's go nothing Maybe You know what? That's weird to have that many people not have a stats page Here let's type. Let's just look at someone else's stats one most famous player, right? Uh, or not really the most famous. I'm the most famous, but he is the highest PV. Look, he's got a stat. He's got a little text box. Okay. See, so it's not broken. It's it wasn't removed. All right. People have stuff going. Oh, there's a little chest there. Two minutes. I get distracted pretty easily. Ah oh, man, this game. This game is just going down the shitter. Absolutely. Anyway, you can you can clearly see that we are at 53 minutes in. All right, we got Captain Man. Nothing. Nothing. All right, please somebody. Somebody. Bass FTW killing chilling oh dude, drug dealing. No, don't do don't deal drugs. All right. S f that empty stats page, empty stats page, empty stats page. It's like people don't do I need to make a video on how to like add stuff to your text box? All right, what about V2 Nope, nothing. Wow. Look at this guy in the chat. How do I build the Bajaus? Question, question, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Ugh. Okay, what about Gambit's SSJ3? Nope, nothing. What about this guy? I'm not saying his name because it could be uh, translated bad on Google. All right. Man, we, we found one guy and he was a drug dealer. All right, get them, cops. Arrest them. No, no stats page on that person. No stats page on that person. No stats on that person. And when I say stats, I mean the text box. I am looking for the text box. People that have flavor text on their profiles. Nothing. You guys missed your chance to be in a swole binge video. Jeez, Louise. Oh man, nothing. SSS five. That's life. That's fucking life, bro. Anyway, that's the video. 54 minutes in. You probably can't farm much more in five minutes. And, uh, you know, we can go ahead and just buy one of... I'm just gonna buy two. Why not? Who cares? At this point, I'm just gonna dump out. There we go. 700k for a freaking hour. It sucks. 
Abs one million fame, two million fame for an hour sucks. Maps suck. Huge risk if I died, I lost 500k. Not worth. End of simple as. Leave a comment, click like, click the video on the right side of your screen, and if you don't, you're gonna, your eyes are gonna burn a little bit more than they normally do.